the video uh, stream however you end up watching it um, I'm super excited because I figured out a way today to get a map off of my Xbox one in bedrock edition which I did and uh, I can tell you how it's there's a video that I watched and I kind of had to do things a little differently than he did um, because I think they've changed the program since he made the video but uh, I managed to do it I got it off of the Xbox I got it onto the PC and then I used a program uh, called amulet to convert it to a 1.18 Java map then I used Multiverse to import it onto my server. And here we are. Um, this is a map that it's called 2K19. You probably saw that in the title. Um, it's when we built all of this. Uh, I'll show you around real quick. Um, Take you back this way. Uh, uh, and I will say right from the get go that I am doing a full render on this world right now. So things may be even slower than they usually are uh, for a little while until that render finishes. As you can see, that's as far as it's gone. Uh, on the mini map up there this is a map that I have not worked on in years but it was something that we had a lot of time into and it was, it was me and a couple of friends and uh, and my kids too played on it um, so here's the spawn point. This is where you would spawn in. There's a little fountain. Um, some of the stuff in the, like the signs didn't come through. Um, the stuff in the chests didn't come through. I think it has something to do with the converting process. To convert it from a... It was like a 1.17 map or something like that. Or 1.7 anyways it was an older one uh, and it had to convert it to a 1.18 Java map so you can see this sign is completely like halfway there it just didn't transfer well but these used to be uh, map walls with item frames with uh, maps in them and it was all mapped out that you could see where you are and it, I had signs that said you're here you know um, that's a friend's house over there we've got um, some villager digs here um, and a fancy pool in the middle back then you didn't have to have composters like you do now so that's why there's not one there and no villagers um, the walls I noticed a lot of these walls I'm gonna have to do something about because they came in completely the wrong way I don't know I don't know why and then I noticed uh, like some of the doors you have to close them once before they start operating you know, like here's there's not even a bed in here so some of some of the stuff on the map did not transfer well um, I will say that but again no bed um, may not be an item that was able to get transferred from the old map uh, yeah I don't see beds in any of these I don't remember at the time if you had to have beds for villagers. There was animals in here. Um, 
something went a little wonky with the spawning of things. Um, I noticed on my uh, console window on my server that uh, it was giving me errors uh, that had something to do with uh, invalid spawn for type skeleton and it would say it for each mob as I was flying into this area so I don't know if it's gonna spawn creatures in here I tried to spawn cave spiders and stuff and it, it just like as soon as they appeared they disappear um, in fact I can show you at some point here but this was our this is our church of the damned here or something like that um, this was a very uh, complex monster spawner setup and as you can see it's not spawning anything in here this was sophisticated for the time but uh, when we were doing this I believe there was like a monster spawner up in here or something I don't I don't remember um, that's uh, that's my one buddy's house here that he had nice place um, my house is over here is where I started and I built this kind of right into this cliff side here kind of near the wall um, and it's really nothing special it did have paintings on the walls um, those didn't seem to come through either this is the way into the mine this is upstairs these are shulker boxes they're empty of course so far everything's been empty that I have gone into and then I started building a castle up here and I, I got quite a ways those are balconies that jut out of the castle um, now these windows were one thing that they didn't come through uh, from the older version like some of them are here and some of them are gone I don't really know why it just seems to be random I definitely had these finished before but I can redo that it's not no big deal um, Go down here, and there's like a balcony over here. Overlooks this little, little courtyard area, I guess you'd call it. And then you can go over here. This takes you out to one of those little balconies that we saw earlier. I think this is just like chests, and there they're empty because they weren't but they are now uh, this hallway just turns around and I believe comes out to the other balcony so yeah um, and you've got all this this is a unique room because of the room underneath it I wanted it to, I had a, I had an idea for like a, uh, picture like a medieval, uh, flight wing in here with like, uh, maybe a, you know, some kind of a Zeppelin or something that can land in here, 
some little biplanes or something or a dragon roost or something you know it was, was kind of my idea with it anyway um, and this you used to be able to oh I see you can still see that building there I was gonna say you used to be able to see the buildings in the distance but because of the way the server's set up, I've only got it drawn to nine chunks because I didn't want to overload it too much. Um, so that's why you don't see as far. I think I had. Yeah, we had more chests in here that were full of stuff. But uh, no longer. That's okay, though. Um, um, I have to figure out the monster spawning thing, but I have to figure out that just, we got to be able to spawn. You, you know, I I think it might have to do with the fact that this was a creative world originally. So I don't know. Um, there's a tunnel under here. Doo -doo. And I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> Let me come over this bridge. And you've got the was the original idea with this area was that this was gonna be a city. I was gonna build buildings and skyscrapers and apparently I named it Turia. I had forgotten. This was like a welcome center. There was paintings. I think there was lecterns with books on them. I can't really remember. Um, this is the basement. Well, a bat spawned. That's a good sign. show you the upstairs if you want to see it but it's really nothing special without all the artwork and stuff that I had in here um, so let's continue down the road This building to the left here was originally a mountain. Uh, it was it was a big stone. Uh, it wasn't stone. It was uh, sandstone and sand mountain. And I built this out of it. Uh, I hollowed it out and. I actually had, I don't know if they still work, but I had these lights on day-night sensors when one light set would shut off, the other light set would come on. It was really neat. There's always lights on in here. This is the way, this is the complex wiring and everything that I had uh, uh, between the floors. I had the space to do this because I was basically digging it out of a side of a mountain, so. Uh, I'm starting to hear something malfunctioning. I believe it's on the roof because I noticed it before on my first fly through. I had set the lights up on the top of this building uh, to blink. Um, yeah, I'll show you. This is the next story of lighting. Now here's the system that I have 
Now, it was supposed to turn on those lights. I'll show you. Go, go up. This is a helipad. And it was supposed to light up these lights, but it was not supposed to open and close these trap doors. As to why that's doing that, it must be a change in the way that they have it, the wiring since I did this originally. Um, this one doesn't seem to work at all. These lights used to blink alternating, and that doesn't seem to work at all anymore. So. I do need to fix some stuff there. Um, not really that concerned about it, to be honest. Uh, I have the day-night sensors for the lighting. Uh, and this was a, a beacon. But as I am noticing right now, there doesn't seem to be any... benefit for the beacon. Um, and I can't click on it because there's blocks in the way. But anyways, uh, that brings us to this building, which is basically a skyscraper. That's all it was ever meant to be. It was I was going as high as I could go with it. And I'm not even going to go up there because they're, all the floors are the same. It's just, it was just to see how high I could go, really. Um, <clears throat> so down here on this level, uh, this is that ground level here. You can actually go underneath these buildings. And this is the underneath of the skyscraper. This over here goes underneath of the sandstone building. Um, and then over here, you go way down this way, way down yonder, and you'll reach that the basement that I showed you of the Welcome Center building. Um, cauldron service access oh yes this is underneath that's how I built it this would be the cauldron and it was filled with animals and fish and turtles and dolphins and everything and then you could see them uh, you could see them they would swim out through this and into this here oh I'm going to die because I'm not in creative mode Hold on one second. Let's try that again. The animals would swim out, they'd swim up into this tunnel, and you could actually see them the whole length of this basement thing swimming in this tunnel and it would come out to this big area here that I had built big tanks and there was like I said dolphins and everything there was turtles were swimming around in there uh, it doesn't seem to have come through for us but you know figure that out. Um, these are the most recent construction. These buildings right here are the most recent construction on the server and they're only a year or so old. Um, I want to show you all of 
everything one way and then we'll have to come back this way. Invalid spawn data. No key and entity map like Minecraft Zombie. Yeah, so it's it's failing to spawn anything here. I don't really know why yet. But you come into this building, and there was that. I don't know. There was animals in here swimming. So Inside here is, uh, I'm actually going to show you the outside first, and it's hard to show you anything because it won't all draw at once. There's somebody's little house over there, and somebody else had set up there. We, we all worked on this pyramid. It took us a long time to build this, and uh, as you can see, it's, it's quite large. It goes up to, I think it almost goes up to the build height limit, the old one anyway, if I can remember correctly. And actually we had started doing stairs down it, and we quit. And I see that the stairs didn't come through quite right either. It's also supposed to be a hole here, and down in the center of this, there's a beacon that shines up through this hole. Oh. So let me take you... Well, now I have to try and remember. Oh, there's holes in it. In several places. I have to remember which way I came up here because it doesn't draw the ground. Yeah, I went the right way. Um, go in here. Oh. And now you're inside that giant pyramid. The road goes over this way. And it goes this way. And this is the center of the pyramid coming up. This never got completed either. <laughs> Uh, it was supposed to all be designs like this using the terracotta. As you can see, that didn't get finished on all the sides. But here is the uh, the beacon that's supposed to shine up through the roof. Um, and then we had built. There's a road over goes over this way. But as you can see, again with the walls, it messed them up. It put the walls like sideways. So we're definitely going to have a lot of things to fix on this world. Um, I forget. I think this was... I think I remember living here at some point. But I don't remember if this was mine. I, th I think it was. As you can see, everything's emptied out, so it didn't save that aspect. Um, it looks like one of mine, anyways. I believe it was. Oof. I had even planted some plants and things there. Um, and then over here, we go take a right, over here, so it's only one side that didn't get completed as far as that goes. This was a villager sanctuary, it was all lit up, and we had beds, and everything that villagers needed at the time, and there was villagers here, last time I was here. 
I see there are none now. I don't know if we'd be even be able to spawn a villager. I think one of my daughters did this. I don't know. Anyway, you go this way. I'm going to have to take a small intermission here soon anyways, because I'm going to have to use the bathroom. <laughs> so you go down here, through this tunnel. Oof, I've hit a unfortunate non-responding wall here. There we go. Um... This is the original, was the original, uh, loot spot of this. I've drilled up through and made the tunnel into a, uh, a temple, a desert temple that was already here. So the tunnel comes kind of down and through there. Um, which takes you actually back to where we started in the desert town where the desert castle is which is you know completely empty at this point um, there was also another path that went down this way that I built um, trying to go fast here And it went to the edge of the pyramid, and there was like Jerry's Pyramid Corner Store. Yes, I remember. Yeah, and there was like a villager trapped behind there. And uh, now I can actually I can just put a shopkeeper back there. But the, these had gear in them. go this way. See, it even messed up my light poles. I don't, I don't understand that. A hidey hole. And some of them are fine. And I think there was another little settlement over here in this mountain. I don't remember how far it got. That's as far as that got. One thing of note is that you notice the door didn't auto close itself. That's because I'm in creative mode now. It ignores by default anybody who's in creative mode. It won't auto shut those doors. See, some of the light poles are fine and some of them are just jacked. I don't know. This goes to another desert temple, if I remember correctly. I remember, yeah, I can't pronounce words correctly, but I can remember correctly. Um, and I believe I just had it to where you could enter the pyramid from here as well. I was going to originally coat the entire inside of the pyramid with the sea lanterns, but they only have so far a range and it really didn't matter once I got up high enough it didn't cast any light down here anyway so I did not do that do a little flying here back the way we came Jerry's and we're back to the sand castle um, 
the road just kind of dead ended right over there. Uh, we never finished it any farther than that. Um, down this way, there is another village. This will be the end of the line as far as this direction goes. Um, because I never got any farther out than this. And then my buddy built that. And it looks like his windows are effed up too. So I'm sure he'll want to fix that. His beacon's messed up. His town's kind of messed up. I did some of the roads, if I remember correctly, here. Um, yeah, this was a neat building. Neat looking building. It was the way he had it. It's still mostly intact. Yeah, it's still mostly, mostly good. Just the windows, really. Oh, that didn't close correctly. Wow. Yeah. So there's some things we're gonna have to fix. That's that much is obvious. There's another one of our signboards with all the maps on it, and that's gone. Now. We're going to go back the way we came, because I kind of started in the middle, <laughs> instead of starting at the end and working our way down, which is what I probably should have done. Uh, well, you know, we live and learn. Um, so we're going to fly down this way. As you can see, it's still rendering that map, uh, and it's still on the flat part of the map, not even to the surface part yet. So this this render could very well take all night tonight. That's why they added a cancel render command to it because sometimes you can get yourself into more than you bargained for by doing a full render. hand is asleep. Oh, I moved too fast for the computer. For the server. Now, instead of going left, we'll go right. So now we follow this path past these buildings. are messed up too. It's very unfortunate. And it's so weird that some of them are fine and some of them are screwy. This is a little like a, a little snow biome up here. Um, this is like a little lookout tower. And then go back to the to the, uh, I don't know what you call it, uh, snow castle. I'm chilling here. There is a basement. Uh, and 
like a basement basement. But I think a back door. Chateau, maybe that was the right word I was looking for. Um, looks like most of that survived. Anyway, so I'll we'll take the path again. next area we'll come across is one that I am particularly proud of, I guess. I don't know. I, I did a lot of work on it at the time. I think I named it Fenton. I'm going to look at the sign when I get there. Uh, some some of the signs are still there. Something like here it is coming up on it now. Benton Springs. That's what it was. And Benton Springs is made up of platforms that was actually said fence in there and these were villager places these were that I built for villagers and there were villagers here so quite recently now, until I move the map over here, I guess, would be, uh, yeah, these are all villager houses. The stairs are screwed up on a lot of them, so I'll have to fix that. Um, now, I, when I built this, I had a whole storyline of why this town was like this split up into sky platforms and this sinkhole now if you actually if you look at this I built a building on the edge and it's like half of a building because and the other half's down here Uh, and they had let's see what did they have? in remembrance of the terrible I think it was disaster it's not there at Angkor uh, science something or other that has given us our unique city home of home to the blah 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 I don't remember um, and there was a little hospital over here and there were some villager houses down here and there was villagers over here and they were all walled off from actually being in the lava but the lava was just out of reach of them it was really it was a cool little place um, I see now the glow squid are spawning in the farms. This was like the rainbow building or something. Anyways, the storyline that I had in place for this has to do with a building that I'm going to show you next. If you go over here and you take this path.
takes you to the building in question, which was Angkor, it was like Angkor Science sciences or something like that it was it was a uh, anti-gravity set on it um, they were doing experiments with anti-gravity here as is what this the story that I had come up with was that they had oops uh, hold on one second I'm gonna have to mute my microphone for a second.
And I'm back. I mean, I wasn't actually gone, but I was on the phone. Uh, so yeah, it was that factory, the story was that factory exploded and it caused these strange ripples in gravity and caused some parts of the city to float up and other parts to, to push into the ground, basically. Anyway, it was just a story that I kind of made up to go with why I wanted to construct the town that way. Uh, and then down this way is our last stop. Um, and this is where I told my kids they could set up and do whatever they wanted to in creative mode. Um, which obviously they've, they've definitely done. You can tell. They've constructed some interesting buildings. This is another floating platform. Oh no! I believe my game crashed. Yeah, my game crashed. It had some error message but I don't know what the error message was uh, it just flashed real quick we'll get back in the game as quickly as we can I don't want everybody to stare at how disorganized my desktop is for too long I'm not sure why it quit. We were almost to the end of the, uh, the end of the line, as it were. Come on, Minecraft, you can do it. I mean, I haven't restarted my client in a couple of days, so I'm not really super surprised that it crashed. still doing that full render it's probably going to take a little bit longer to load me into the world than it usually does even it usually is it takes a moment <laughs> actually I'm, I'm back in I'm still flying uh, auto fly mode enabled because I was already in the air I guess This is something my daughter was doing over here. I'm not really sure exactly <laughs> what she was going for there, but um, they built these buildings. Um, I built this one over here, and. I imagine it's going to be very barren because I had, you know, well, the banners are still on the walls, it's just the paintings aren't. But yeah, I built this building. This was my house that uh, was actually survival 
staying in this house here. And it kind of, as you can see, was originally quite a bit smaller. Um, this was a bridge that I made with redstone. You could actually walk across it. I see you can't now. <laughs> anyway, um, that was somebody else's house. I can't remember whose. And then this was the board with all the maps on it. And this was a, you know, auto-generated uh, forest mansion. Uh, we didn't really do anything with that yet, so. Anyways, that pretty much is this entire map so far. Um, but I'm sure we will be doing many things on this map. Because everybody will be itching to get back to the stuff that they worked on years ago. I mean, I know I am. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun to have this world back. Um, it was, it was, you know, it was on my Xbox, and then I didn't have Xbox Live Gold anymore, so we couldn't play together on it anymore, even with Bedrock clients, because you gotta have Xbox Live Gold to play with that. And I didn't, just didn't have it right now. Um, I would like to. Don't get me wrong. I used to use it quite often because I, I especially enjoyed the free games every month. Um, so, I mean, I would if I, if I had the ability, but I just don't right now. Um, and so it was impossible to play together on it the way that it was and it was, had been years since anybody played on it and I got on the Xbox uh, 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 I'd say a few months to a year ago when those uh, the, the newest buildings were built um, that I showed you uh, and I built those and I was like man I wish I could play on this map with everybody else again and then I saved it and I never played it again for the longest time. I don't usually play on my Xbox, to be honest. I play on my PC more than anything. Um, here we're back to Fenton Springs. Um, and there is a minecart. This did work, this minecart system. You'd get in it and you could go and run to the bathroom or run and get some popcorn or whatever. And by the time you got back, you'd be at the other end of this long bridge. all I really have for the moment um, but I'm sure I'll be back I may even be back on tonight I don't know um, but we'll see how I feel and if I want to get back on and if anybody's actually gonna watch um, I see that I do still have one viewer so somebody's watching I appreciate you So I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kill the stream, uh, and I'm going to try to let my map do its rendering, and I'll see you guys later.